you need to go to the hospital because he's having trouble breathing. Okay. Even during the busiest time of day, MetroSafe has only about 10 people. We're going to have someone come and check you out. Waiting to take emergency calls for all of Louisville. We'll have sometimes 911 calls holding because so many people call on one instance. Which is why MetroSafe spokeswoman Jody Johnson says when operators hear this voice on the line. Okay, do you need any information from me first? It's so frustrating. Okay, what information would you like to give me? I need to be put in a cloud. That voice on the other end belongs to Connie Marshall. If the name sounds familiar, it's because she was a 2010 candidate for Metro Mayor. She's also the most frequent caller to Louisville's 911. Last year alone, I've got some statistics. Um, she called um, 684 times. Some days, Johnson says Marshall will call 10, 12, 14, up to 19 times in one day. The duration uh, of all the calls together was about, about 29 hours. And if that sounds excessive, it seems to be getting worse. These are all the calls that Marshall has made to 911 this year. 630 so far through the beginning of this month. And that's only from one number. MetroSafe now says Marshall is calling from a second phone number. And in one day, actually last week, she called 27 times in one day. This call, sources tell me, is pretty typical of her complaint. And I am reporting an assault that's been going on all morning. And again, I do not want an ambulance at my home. I do not want a police officer at my home. And she didn't need anything. She just wanted um, us to be recording information on the telephone. As you listen to the call, it becomes pretty clear there's something else going on. Uh, I am the lady that's being assaulted by directed energy weapons. And it's the Louisville Metro Police Department are committing the crime. But at Metro Safe, they're frustrated. Marshall is not the only person who calls 911 who doesn't need a response. Sometimes we do have prank calls, and unfortunately, adults do prank call as well, and they, they call and say, hey, there's a fire at this location. But MetroSafe officials tell me Marshall is clearly the worst abuser. She's been calling for three years, and it's escalating, tying up the line for people who have more pressing emergencies. I feel for the people, yes, they should get through, but I should not be ignored when I'm being burned, when I'm being raped. When my heart's being attacked, when I'm being made to fall down in my home, uh, when all those things are going on, then no, I should not be ignored. I confronted Marshall about why she calls so frequently. As uh, a matter of fact, it's well over 600 times. It could be close to 900 or 1,000. And that shows how many, uh, you can look at it on the other side of the coin, is that's how many assaults I have endured. Metro Safe Director Doug Hamilton sent Marshall this notice late last month that she could face penalties if her calls continue. And if she doesn't need police, fire, or EMS, the operators will now hang up. All right. Bye -bye. Now, Johnson says she is unclear if Marshall could actually face criminal charges for her calls to 911. And Hamilton says, frankly, jail space should be reserved for violent offenders. A spokesman for the county attorney's office says the office which represents MetroSafe has not been asked for an official opinion, but in general, someone would have to put individuals or property in danger to face charges for misuse of 911.